Hi, my name is Joe Palkovich. I'm the manager of engineering sales here at g and Integrated, 9000 North University in Peoria, Illinois. Standing in front of our new paint system and would like to talk about the uh, CPR wash system we have, our capacities, and the type of parts we run through it. The part right here is about a 4,400 pound part that we have that we can hang from the monorail. The booth itself, uh, we can whatever we can drive into with a fork truck, we have weight capacities, 20,000 pounds, whatever will fit. So if you'd like to now, we'll go talk about the CPR wash system. Here we are, we're standing in front of the uh, CPR system's uh, pre-treatment wash. This is our uh, Bontite pressure washer, runs uh, around 3,000 PSI, 180 degree Fahrenheit water, which does a great job removing all the dirt, grease, oil from everything. Over here to my right is the CPR iron phosphate system. It's 100% enclosed. We've got zero discharge down the drain, which is a big feature we really liked and is also environmentally friendly, which is a big thing these days. It's done a great job on all of our cast steel and cold rolled steel parts for paint adhesion. The iron phosphate's done a good job on corrosion resistance. Customers love it, basically. It is a one-step system, which is unique. There's no rinse, and we get great paint adhesion. Our customers have loved it to date. It works fine. The iron phosphate's done a real good job with corrosion resistance, and we've had great luck with it. We just love the system. Here's our uh, spray wash booth. It isn't just a spray wash booth, it's also used for inspection. Uh, it's a powder coated steel booth. Uh, it was designed to be a paint booth. We've got good inspection lights in it, so it's worked out great. We can inspect the parts prior to wash, inspect welds, and inspect after we wash. So it's worked out well as a, as a wash booth and an inspection booth. Once the parts leave the wash booth, they're air dried and inspected again. This area through here is designed to have another booth for, for drying and another booth for painting if we get to a point where we have enough volume to primer coat and top coat. What we have to, all we have to do is take the two booths we have and invert them and we can flow through here and get to much higher capacity. Again, the monorail through here is manual push. We can, again, in this area back here, install the power free take up and power the whole chain up so that people don't have to push the parts. Parts come down through here. They can also hang here and dry if we want to. X is a Q, again, if we have a lot of parts as we ramp up. Basically, make the turn here and come into the paint booth. The entire booth system's uh, NFPA compliant. We've got it all sprinkled. And I'll interlock with the fire system. Been inspected here for the city of Peoria. Or something we're pretty proud of, really. Currently, we're shooting a uh, urethane primer sealer. Uh, we have a brand new Graco gun setup. It's a higher voltage setup, but it's static. As you can see, we're getting a, a fair amount of overspray, but not too bad. This booth, unlike the uh, wash booth, we've got a lot more lights. We packed in as many lights as we could. And again, we've got, I think, 18 feet to the rail here, and we're 24 feet long. Uh, we can do automotive quality finishes if we need to. We do multiple colors. We do uh, primer sealer base coat. We do top coat. The room here that we, when we drive through here, Again, the mix room's NFPA 
33 compliant, it's sprinkled. Currently we're set up to do uh, five gallon buckets. Got our OSHA approved storage and we've got a five gallon and one gallon paint mixer in there. There's the great gold pot. Uh, we start out with their, I think they're two kV guns. I think we're up to four or eight kV electrostatic guns. They're working out really well for us. This is our load unload area. We'll be loading on that bridge crane, unloading on this bridge crane. And I believe we get a jib crane right here. We have two robotic cells that are being run off as we speak up in the Detroit area. One will be underneath the east crane and one underneath the west crane here. The robot cells are again designed to do very large parts. They've got a 20 foot span between the trunnions and a 4,000 pound capacity.